Hello and welcome back to Against the Storm. In our last episode, we picked up this uh, new Scarlet Orchard town basically from the beginning. We had it done a little bit of, of a setup, but basically from the beginning. Uh, it took us a while to get around to building the archaeologist's office and then identifying the, the site of the first... Uh, the first um, archaeological dig here. So we have uh, one woodcutter over here getting ready to cut into that. We also have uh, a couple of orders to turn in. We have our, you know, our second uh, small hearth put out here. Although we're going to need to do some more housing, which is what this woodcutter is working on. And also need to do our four green decorations. So we'll need to get that up pretty quickly here. And so I think we're just going to unpause, let them start working. I have three woodcutters there, three woodcutters here. Uh, we have a beaver majority, so we'll do that. We also have the ancient tablets. Uh, do I want to do that now? Yes. Because it gets us some roots every time we open the glade up. Uh, let's see. I don't think so. Not for this one. Ricocheting has made your scouts exceptionally efficient. For every five villagers, the need for brawling fulfilled. If we had a place to sell it... I, I, and I can never remember, once again, if we can actually make it or not. We can make it at the Weaver. We had a place to sell it. Which we don't. We'd be in a much better place. Uh, but we have... Oh, we do have. Wait, what am I smoking? Let's get that thing going. Uh, tavern? Go. And uh, let's see here. Let's go back to this one then. And I think we're going to take this one. We keep turning this one down. It keeps coming up, which is kind of interesting. Um, I don't know that I want the construction speed slower. Plus, I don't know that we're going to get to 10 trade routes. We need to look more at those. Let's do this. Let's see. How many people do we have currently free? 1, 2, 3, 9, 10, 11. Maybe I should wait on the people also. This would be useful. This would be useful. 5 and 5. I'll wait a little bit. Let's look at our next blueprint here. The plantation has come up every single time. <laughs> uh, brew would get us a better ale recipe, which is not a bad deal. Might be a really good deal, in fact. Pickled goods would be good to have because it would extend our current food supply a little bit. Packs of crops, not so much. Um, lumber mill, we don't really need the extra star on the planks. Scrolls would be good. And we already have that pack of trade goods recipe at one star at the Weaver, I think. So we don't, we don't need this really. Uh, beaver house would be good to make the beavers happier, but I'm okay with it. So I think we're going to do, although, well, maybe we should because we have the beaver resolve thing here, but we're going to start selling ale and that's going to make them happy. And we can find out how much happy that will make them by looking here, because when we start selling ale to the beavers, that's going to add eight points. If all of them are satisfied, that means we'll go from 18 to 26 with that. Although they need to get to... It's 22 for this, 30 for their other happiness. Hmm, maybe. But I think the better ale recipe is better because it's better. So let's, um, we haven't started making ale here yet anyway. We had we took this one mostly for that reason, but also for the scrolls, hopefully. But worst case, we don't use it. Uh, brewery, let's put that down out here. Right in there. Works for me. Okay, and then uh, hopefully you guys are working. One other thing, I'm going to turn off the herbs here. Until we run out of herbs on the ground, I'm going to keep the herbs turned off. And let's also move this over here. Because that way they're closer to the storage for when they haul stuff. Plus they're closer to the, to the berries too. Yeah, I'm still waiting on that. Okay, so once this gets done, which it's in the process of getting there and we start making ale, we need to turn on the training gear recipe as well, which uh, I want to set a limit to, 30, and save the uh, limits. Stone is good for that. Planks are good for that, although reeds might be good for that. Where are we at with... That's fine. Planks are fine. Planks are fine. Planks are fine. Let's do uh, three people in here. One of each. Sounds good. Probably will swap that lizard out at some point. Humans like to work here, though, so we're going to put... Actually, leave that there. Turn this on like this. Turn this on like that. I'm purposely not checking the water skins, because I can't actually make them. Uh, you can pickle... 
Uh, you're not going to see any mushrooms, but if you find mushrooms, you can pickle those. Uh, this, I want to set a global limit of 30 and a local limit of 20. Uh, we'll download there, save those as well. And we'll let them make pickled goods and ale here. And that'll be good. I could probably increase the ale limit, but for now, let's get it started. We need the roots first anyway. Anything with this yet? No. Mine is no available ore. Where's our mine at down here? Now this one, I think we did, we did not do one upgrade. Uh, let's do, let's actually do the box crib. This will just produce more ore without much of anything else. Like no other bonuses. I think that's actually better in this case because we're close enough to the storage that we can just run it. We don't really need it to come out faster. We want to just have more supply. So let's just do that. And planks are the best option here, I believe. We could do our second tier as well, but I'm fine without doing that for right now. So we'll keep going. Uh, also increase the speed, Wally. There you go. And over here, that. Okay. That was a good opening salvo. Uh, let's see here. You can move out a little bit more. Let's put in some more pathing here. Let's put in some more housing here. And uh, lizards are happy. Beavers are getting there. Actually, yeah, they're getting there really well because of the ale. Uh, we can see that here, of course. Uh, ale, we're plus seven out of plus eight. We need three more people to get drunk, then we'll be good to go. Uh, they might have also gotten a hold of some biscuits or something, so that increased their score a little bit more, too. Um, oh, we also took that beaver clan support, too. That added, that added some points. Uh, the second one of... Not that one. These ones. So that was three resolve as well. So beavers might just get there fairly easily. 27, 28. Getting there. Uh, happy beavers. Let's turn that in. Get some free biscuits and some tools. We need to spend those tools. Uh, we were looking at this one possibly. No food here, but it does have some of the training gear. Uh, we have this one here. Tiny, but it has food. Uh, we only have 16 tools. Did I, did I turn on the tool recipe here? I did not. Let's also turn that on. And let's use planks for that. Set that limit to 16, I think, is what our one of these will take. We have set the limit to 16. Um, and is that the last of the caches we have at the moment? Yeah, just those three. Uh, just those two. Did we get one here? Nope. We got our archaeological dig. Copper, fertile soil, eggs, and herbs in here. Lots of stuff in this tiny little glade. Holy cow. Let's clear out a bunch of those trees there. Also around this mine here. Uh, let's just take a bunch of that out. And let's see what this needs for the first start here. We need that, of course. That's good. We need planks, of course. That's good. And we're going to convert it. We're not going to look too closely at the salvage. We're going to convert it. Uh, we'll give you three beavers to do your work with. And, um, yeah. We'll see how that works. Somehow it feels like the beavers should be the archaeologists. I don't know why. Got a little bit further here. Uh, right? Yeah, that's good there. But like this a little bit. Nope, I did that wrong. There we are. Just like that. So I would like to put a road there, and a road there, and clear out those trees. Okay, back over here. Uh, they should get started on this. We'll see what the second tier looks like. Honestly, I don't know what it's going to look like. If it'll be the same materials options as we had the last time. First tier appeared to be, so second tier might be as well. Wow, those are just super happy. Uh, they like the training gear, though. They like they like the brawling, so that's why. I think I'm going to take this for some of that food. That sweet, sweet food. Uh, give me a couple beavers to do that. Even though it's a small one, getting 60 raw food at this point is worth it. We have a jerky recipe here that hopefully they will grab that meat for as quickly as possible. We have a... Um, we have other recipes selected for mushrooms, not the least of which here would be the uh, pickled goods. Hopefully they'll snag those before they get eaten raw, because eating them cooked will, uh, you know, give us a lot more benefit. Six mushrooms is, so six servings of mushrooms becomes ten servings of pickled goods. The same thing with the meat. Six servings of meat becomes ten servings of jerky, so it's, it's worth it to try and get that food upgraded if we can. 
You have no suitable trees nearby. I hated to have you clearing this, but I think you're going to come up here and help with this job. We also need to get those, uh, those egg folks up here, too. Here. Um, let's change that again. Over here. Those egg folks, Wally. Yeah, great. Jeez. Um, it doesn't matter here, either. I'll give you those two for now. Eggs and roots. Roots and eggs. Root out the eggs. Egg out the roots. Do we want the last group of people or not? Maybe I should take them. I'm going to take these, even though I should take the roots. But we just... Yeah, we just grabbed a bunch of food, so... Uh, we're going to call ourselves good on food for a minute here. Uh, we could also open this up, then. Um, with some random food here. Possibly those mushrooms. Yeah, let's do the mushrooms. Get two people at that, too. And that'll be good. Alright. Feeling better. Slightly. Lizards are coming down. 0.14 per minute. Yeah, they're, uh, we're not going to gain enough until after the storm to get another point out of them, but they'll get there eventually. Two minutes left on this. Should pick out another glade to go into at some point here. Um, I will probably end up doing that forbidden glade. Maybe even sooner rather than later. How does this look? I think that's where the farm goes, is back there. Hard to tell when I put the uh, woodcutters on top of it, but even if not, um, maybe I should take out like this all the way over here and connect that road across. That's not a bad idea. So we'll let them get to work. Did we get? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Let's open up this cache as well and take this stuff. Human scout died. What did I do? I don't have housing for everybody. Well, that's what happens when you don't have housing for everybody. People die. Uh, I need to mitigate it quickly before somebody else dies. I don't know if this will be enough. It will. No, it won't, actually. So in that case, I'm going to mitigate it anyway. I'm going to put down a bunch more human houses here. But we're probably going to need some more generic shelters for the beavers as well, because I don't think... Let's see. 4, 8, 16. That's actually not enough human houses, so we're probably okay with those getting put down. I'm going to let these beavers help with that job. The putting down of the houses. And then, um, yeah, we just lost more. Dang it. Alright. Well, I screwed up. Not the first time. Won't be the last time. There we go. Orders. We're not making wine. We don't have any way to make wine. We have a safe haven already, I think. Minus 40 hostility for every new hub upgraded. Every hub upgraded level. Neighborhood or higher. Farmer's favorite food. Biscuits. That could be good. Um, safe haven. We do have that one already. Is it better to get another minus 40 to... I need to do the... The... the uh, decorations out there, but it's going to do another minus 40 to uh, hostility, so it'll end up being minus 180 once we have them both done. Uh, or minus 80, I'm sorry. Uh, 120, actually, if you don't count the one I've already got. Or should I get this double productivity for the for the uh, food, for the farming? Let's do this one. We don't already have this one, do we? No. Let's do this one. And then let's get um, let's get some decorations done out here in this in this district uh, quickly here. Uh, let's do our usual square course, and then um, we need four more of the uh, of the greens. I'll do four wall corners. Oops, I screwed the first one up. Totally screwed that one up. It's totally a position of these here like that. And then we need four blues, right? Let's look down here. Four blues, yep. That was green, just checking. Uh, we'll just do the flowers like we did the last time. One, two. I'm just gonna be lazy though and do two of each. Like that. Okay. Uh, convoy here, we could definitely use this time since I lost some people. 
I'm going to take this group. 25 food to me is better than 20 food and three planks. So, especially here in this situation, although we're doing much better on the food, by the way. Coats, pigment, and barrels. Uh, coats, maybe, but otherwise, no. Press would get us an oil recipe. I might want that. Uh, we don't currently have an oil recipe, so I may set on this. Um, otherwise, I will take the smelter for the copper bar smelting. I would like the wine, but yeah. I want to see what this is for second tier, because it was it was oil the last time. We could have really used that oil recipe. We really could have. Okay, we're just going to close these. There are builders and scouts. The scout was probably here or something or at a at an event or something. Um, maybe maybe this one. Yeah, it was here. You can go back in there. And the builders, I'm fine with, kind of fine with losing. Uh, let's see, Jorg. Incense for root production. That could be useful. We're producing a lot of roots. Bonus to ale production is never a bad deal. Uh, farmer carry isn't a bad deal either, but I kind of have storages near most of my farms, so it's not that big of a deal. Maybe. Uh, we could sell a bunch of these. That's for sure. Um, do I want to? Do I actually want to buy something here, food or otherwise? Uh, Grain or roots would be a good thing to buy. Um, because we can make more biscuits and pie out of them. We have plenty of herbs. Or do I just buy... How much amber do I need? I need two amber. Okay, that's fine. We'll take those two amber. I'm going to buy this. Because we may be able to use that incense if we get another building that we can sell it at. Let's just do this. Get that up to... Oh, I can't quite afford it all. Uh, let's not sell all these then. Can we keep me 10 of these. Let's just take this down by... A few. Although I do have lots of roots now, but this is this is fine. You know what? Then I should just make just take the roots then instead. It'll be the same, and I'll be able to just use it interchangeably. Whereas with the grain, if it's not the right number of stacks or whatever, then it ends up being a problem. Um, twenty-two cents. Twenty-two cents, or like nine cents over here. Do this, and we'll do this, and we'll still be good. It's three cents off now. Trade, buy, get out of there. There, there, done. I maybe should come at this from the other side because there's a storage over here. Uh, do we know yet? What do we got? Yes. We do know. Fabric and oil. I could give him these water skins, though. Do I want the oil recipe? Or do I want, say, the wine? No, I want the copper bar recipe. So we're going to give them the water skins instead. See, I kept those for a reason. We're going to convert it. This will get us to the next level here. And we're going to do that one. Go to town. That's going to take another 445 to work on. And let's move one of you over here for sure. Let's cut from this side from one of them. And uh, see how that works out for us. There. Let's go ahead and put down some of these. Hmm. Huh. You have what underneath? Those two. Can I? Yes, I can. And where does this building need to be then? could be here or it could be there either one works I should put it here for uh, reasons of there's a storage right over here and uh, things uh, again with the with the roots not the herbs well, do we have other herbs here on the map oh yeah there's some there well I think one there but I can always turn that back on if I need to. It's weird that the roots 
look like that. I mean, I guess they're, you know, that's the green part of the root. I mean, the green part of the plant, so it makes some sense, but... So kind of weird. Uh, I have these two humans free, so we'll be able to put them in right away. They're not going to get anything planted, though. Maybe. Maybe they'll get something planted. Not much planted. Put it that way. I might get a couple of fields planted. Uh, that way. Okay, so this road is going to make a little bend here at some point. Maybe just right there. We'll come across here like that. Uh, there, there, here. Like that. That'll be good. We probably don't need to cut all this then. Probably save ourselves some effort there. So why don't you move over here too then? Because you can't. Okay. Yeah, look at all those roots. It's, yeah, it's weird that the plant growing is different. It looks different than the plant um, uh, harvesting. But again, it kind of makes sense. Smelter. Right, smelter. There. Did this all get done? Yes, it did. Okay, that's going to help our hostility by a lot. But we need more housing still. Um, okay. Sure. Let's see. I didn't put this in. Can do um, some more... Wait, 18. Okay, we need some more human houses. But we also need some big shelters. So I'll put one of those in here. Woodcutter needs to move. We'll put a human house in right here. Just one more is all we need. And they've finished all those trees. So, we put this road through here. And why don't we stage up this... Wait, where's that? Over here. This one over here. This Forbidden Glade. You can start from right there. You can take out those trees. Uh, let's control click to kind of limit us there. And then we'll move you over here and let you work on these trees that I had marked ages ago and didn't finish. We're going to wait until... Man, the storm. Probably, maybe, to open that up. I don't know if we ever made the jerky or not. How are we doing on... This? We're actually doing really good because of that. Up to 1600 now. We don't need to even burn any... Any cysts. Did I even make a blight post? I never even made a blight post. <laughs> Oops. Um... Hmm. I guess I can go there. It doesn't have to be inside the town. It just needs to be near the storage. Uh, let's just do copper for right now. And this is liked by those guys. Uh, fuel, let's use coal. Because we're making coal, so we might as well use it. We could even change a few other things to use coal instead if we wanted. Namely, there. Scouts are idle. Oh, we did it already. Okay, a uh, bunch of clay or other things. Uh, I think clay should be fine. And here you want parts or tools. We'll give you the tools. And we're going to turn this into a scientific council modifier. The queen has decided to reward you for your exceptional achievements in science. You receive an additional blueprint choice. Three reputation points, which will basically give us a win, and the full reconstruction of the skeleton will allow us to learn its history. The queen will reward you handsomely for this knowledge. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, do I have any other chests to open up? Any caches? I don't think so. Uh, I'm just going to put one of you guys in here. Use that at higher priority than the wood, I think. Oh, there's a uh, 
Which McCall there that I didn't notice? Where's my stone cutter at? Uh, I don't like that one. Let's do that any better? Not by a lot. Oh, it's down here. Doing some of the other stuff. Okay. Uh, woodcutter's camp needs to move. Yeah, I didn't give you enough to cut there. I think you can probably just pop that glade open, though. And then the scavenger needs to move, and I don't think I have anything for you at all. Again, I do not. And you're done as well, here. Do I have anything for you? I do not. Apparently. Nope, not even anything up here. Holy crap, look at all those um, berries up there. Buried in berries up here. Uh, sea marrow, lots of berries. Fertile soil. A grove. Ah. Large abandoned cache. Archaeological discovery number two. And destroyed Rainpunk foundry. Uh, the grove is right here in the way, of course. Um, the Rainpunk foundry, is that the one we had the last time we had one of these? Parts and infusion. I think it was. We should take it. Although, if we didn't take it, we get two, two crystallized dew for every ten berries produced. Wow. That's that's really good. That's really good. Uh, bonus to coal production is good, too. Some coats and some amber. If we didn't take it, we only need spark dew to open it or to handle it. Um, the grove is the fourth? Fifth? Fourth or fifth? The last. Definitely the last farm building you'll encounter. Uh, the small farm, the herb garden, the plantation that I kept turning down. I may be drawing a blank if there was another one. But I don't think there was. And then the grove. The grove allows you to grow resin, which I've hinted at before. Uh, I think in reference to these archaeological things that required an acid resin. And crystallized dew. You can grow crystallized dew in a grove. This has a beaver affinity. I'm gonna actually. I'm gonna let them uh, open this thing up, just because um, I want to to show it off. I guess or whatever. Um, I think you know at this stage it's not gonna. This stuff's not gonna matter that much. But then again, neither is this because we don't need to make either of those things. So let's just do this. This is fine. This is fine. What's the this hostility for? Twice the amount of food. That's not good, but then again, we have a lot of food now. We have lots of roots. Look at that. Wait, why are we not making biscuits? We are. They're just eating them. Oh, that's why. Uh, remember when I said I need to pull lizards out of some place? Yeah, put a human in there. Maybe it should be even a beaver. Uh, lizards, lizards, lizards. I mean, I only have eight lizards. It's not like I have a lot. But I definitely want to put one in there because they're not keeping up on the biscuits here. Um, I could potentially pull one out of somewhere else. Especially if things like the kiln are bored, which the kiln is bored. Let's put them in here. We'll make some more uh, biscuits there. And yeah, we'll just we'll just salvage this just for fun. But we do have some farm fields here, so we can definitely take advantage of those. And, uh, lots of other stuff, too. Let's do some chopping here. Alright, let's see here. Uh, do I have the tools for this? Do not. Not yet. Not yet, anyway. Cannibalism. Every time a villager leaves or dies, you get 30 meat. We saw this one, I think, in the last episode. 20 amber for every 100 ale produced. Well, that would be good. If. If. This wasn't the end of the game, almost. Or steel pickaxes. How much stone do I have? I can't actually see that from here without going out of it. Uh, stone. Uh, let's take the steel pickaxes, then. Um, I'm gonna look at the brewery. I only have one worker in here. That's part of the problem, I think, too, with the with the beer. The ale. So we're not, we don't have a surplus right now. You're done with the trees I had marked. So come over here and help with the trees that are marked over here. I'll move this grove. It'll cost me one plank to move it, but I'm going to move it anyway. I'm going to move this again anyways. So it's not covering up any fields. There we go. Grove has no fields nearby. Yeah, I know. I need to see where it can go here, though. 
this has a wood affinity, so beavers go in this building, not humans like all the rest of the farms. I think this goes here. Could go there. Could go with both. I want to wait and see. It's not going to make that much of a difference anyway. Because we're going to get three, uh, three reputation points for this anyways in another two minutes. So that's going to be three of the four we need. There's a living matter. We need to deal with that anyway. I um, also didn't take a group. Uh, five and five. We'll take this one. I have some more lizards now that I can spend also. No, we'll put them in there then, Wally. Let's do this. And wow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, lizards, come over here. Go in here. And I pulled one of them out of the kiln. I can put one of them back in there. There you go. Might be worth it to put up another herbalist. Um, spend my last remaining parts on that. Basically, my last remaining parts on it. Yeah, 20 crystallized dew. That's that's not nothing. The reason I'm considering putting this the grove over here is because where my path is. Do this one hopefully quickly enough that we can get those four artifacts. Yep, this can go here, which is where I'm going to put it. We can put the beavers in there, although again, they're not going to get a whole lot of work done this season now. But that's fine, we'll put them in there anyway. And run this road all the way into here somewhere. Actually, that might be all the further that I take it. Uh, you too can do this. High level of corruption. Yeah, well, we have somebody to burn these things now. So we should probably look at who's got cysts here. We can handle some. Uh, we can handle... So we have 15 cysts right now. We only need to burn one of them. Uh, who do I want to keep them? We'll keep them here. Keep them here. Keep this one here. Keep this one here. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm missing some somewhere. Of the mine. 13, 14, 15. So if I let them burn all but, or just only, the, um, the, the, the rain collector, then we'll be fine. In theory. Let them burn. Oh, so through the ancient is here. Uh... These uh, perks modify the length of the seasons. 25% increased clearance duration, 15% decreased storm duration. These will alter the schedule at which your cornerstones and orders, uh, sorry, the cornerstones and the, the caravans arrive relative to the start of drizzle. So keep that in mind. They'll start coming at weird times if you start adjusting the seasons. Um, that's fine. I don't need that one. Uh, do, do I don't think I care. I kind of don't think I care. Yeah, not going to bother. Uh, I should probably put another person in here. Even if it's not a lizard. For the extra labor. Woodcutters are done up here. Um, put them over here. I need to put a storage in this little town. I'm kind of waiting until we figure out what this town's going to look like. I think we're salvaging this, right? Yeah, we're pulling this stuff out of it. All right, we have two blueprints to spend. Beavers or lizards or monastery. Religion and leisure here. I would have liked to have had religion and something else here, but we're going to go with it. And then this one, that's the one I wanted. Well, we'll take it too. Who cares? Temple. I'm going to put that one over here. 
Religion and education. And then I need to fire up the scribe. Humans like working at the scribe. I don't have any humans free. Uh, let's see. Humans. Humans. Humans at the tavern. There and there. Wait, why'd they get orange? Oh, because they're selected. Right, duh. Uh, humans, come here with a scribe. Where are you at? Scribe. Oh, there it is. Is that all my workers again? It is. Uh, back one of you out then. Start making scrolls here. You're not going to be able to use that. Let's make wood scrolls. And uh, yeah, that's good. We'll get this built, hopefully. We have a bunch of people tied up right now in jobs. Like this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. So um, when they pop free, we'll be in a much better place. I guess I could pull these two free. Not like they're doing anything right now. They can do some building. Put that human back in here. Okay. Chime. That was the uh, building finishing there. What about the warehouse? What if we put it right here? And then we just do a path like this. Uh, well, like this. Now that's our win. Uh, continue for a minute. Well, actually, wait a minute. Take this stuff. Explorer's Lodge unlocked. This one takes care of brawling and education. Druid's Hut is oil, incense, and coats. Ranch. There it is, the ranch. Okay, the ra I didn't have the ranch unlocked. The ranch lets you grow or produce meat, leather, and eggs from... Not from collecting on the ground. Like a farm, basically. Only it doesn't actually... It's not associated with farm fields. It's just raw production. Reinforced road. This is a copper road, which would be fun to play with. Trade hub. And uh, trade hub uh, cornerstone, which sh uh, sets our... Uh, designates our, our place as a trading hub. You get one reputation point every time you sell goods for 60 amber, while slowing the reputation gain from resolve by 50%. There's a trade-off. If you're going to trade more, then you're probably okay. Sharp Sickles gives plus two herb to herbs production cornerstone. Um, let's look at this real quick. We didn't get those four artifacts. The game finished before then. We did complete four deeds. Those four artifacts being these four here. And we were literally... Wait, why is it not... There it is. We were literally right there, like moments away. It just finished, and we didn't get those four artifacts. Uh, or, well, no, because they're just now standing up from it. So yeah, it just literally just finished. We were that close. That's a bummer. That's really a bummer. Um, so let's take a look at this. It's a harmony um, uh, decoration, just like a lot of the other things we've we've rebuilt have been. Uh, but this is uh, legend has it that they once inhabited the top of the mountain on which the smoldering city now stands. The queen banished them, but it, it is said that some of them still hibernate somewhere on the outskirts of the kingdom. So uh, we don't exactly know what it is, but it's some kind of a um, well, it's a smoldering scorpion, but it's some kind of a fossil of a scorpion, which is pretty cool. And you can move these too. And they don't cost you anything to move. So if you want to put it in your town to get that harmony decoration, you can. Harmony is used for the third tier of the hub. So we don't actually actually have that yet. But you can move these around and put them in your towns. So keep that in mind. Feel free to do so. And um, uh, because, yeah, you don't have to build around it. Some of the other things, you I don't think you could move them unless they changed that and I didn't notice. But, uh, yeah, we accomplished quite a lot here. Um, I think given that we're 40 minutes in, we will just, um, I think we'll just take a quick photo here, uh, of it because I finished it. So I should take a photo of it. Um, maybe I'll turn it around so that I can see it. Actually, I should just be able to do R for rotate. There we go. See if I can get a good picture of it. And then, um, yeah, we'll go on to the, um, we'll move on. We'll go to the Citadel. We'll, uh, turn in our deeds. We'll do our upgrades, and then we'll probably wait. Uh, we could trigger the storm, too. We'll do all that. We'll do that, too. Uh, deeds. Don't let the Queen's Impatience grow bug six. Wow, we did a good job on that this time. Let's turn that in for some XP. Win the game with one Danger Glade event still active. That's those, um, those, uh, what are they called? 
the uh, the living matter. Uh, it was more XP. We actually finished with two of them still active, so that was more XP even yet. Trade goods were 600 amber. This one's a cumulative effect, so we got that one eventually anyway. And collect 25 reputation points through... Oh, no, we didn't get that one yet. Uh, we did four. I skipped ahead and then forgot. Okay, so let's uh, go to upgrades. Now, what do we want to spend? Well, we have 62 food, and we have plenty for right now of machinery or artifacts, whichever ones we might want. Do we want this? We've been passing this one by um, a few times. Um, bonus yields is good. Um, these embarkation bonuses aren't bad. Let's see here. Cornerstone reroll, though. I'm, I was drooling over that one. I may want to take that one. Blueprint reroll would also be really good. It would also be really good. We can only afford any two of these, by the way. And we could go up to some of these in this tier, too. Larger storage. We talked about that one in the chat. That would be actually a good one to do as well. They're all good. That's the problem. Uh, if we come up here, because we can get this one. Uh, all traders have plus one cornerstones or blueprints for sale. That's not bad either. <laughs> um, let's see. This one we could also get. Greater embarkation. I need to do this one. I need this one. I do need this one. Um, let's see, we can't afford there. Can't get to this one. Can't get to this one. Can't get to this one. And here, plus one to available charges and essential building of the Beaver House. Well, that would be not a bad idea. I'm thinking I'm gonna go with this one, and then one of these two re rolls. I think. But I'm definitely gonna do the embarkation range. Do I want blueprint reroll or cornerstone reroll? It's tough. Um, I'm gonna say the blueprint reroll because I feel like I can be happy with a cornerstone more often than I claim that I'm happy with the blueprint choices. So we're gonna go with this option. And that'll spend too much of our stuff to buy anything else. And uh, we're gonna do this and this. And so now it is time for the Blightstorm cycle to, to end. We've, we've lived out this entire progress bar and actually we went a little further because of that one there. Uh, but once you, get, once you get past that little blue tick, which was probably just barely behind this symbol here from our town from the last one, um, once you get past that little blue tick, you have to end the Blightstorm cycle. What happens when you end the Blightstorm cycle? Well. All of your current towns on the map are gone. All of your current modifier tiles on the map are reset and rearranged, re-whatevered. Uh, we want to look at that too, by the way. Uh, this one here is a... What's not even going to tell me what it is? That's a jerk move. Just because it's the end of the cycle, you won't tell me what it is? Well, I don't know what they are by icons well enough to tell you all what they are. So I think this one might be like all danger glades, maybe. One of them is all danger glades. That could be it. Um, I don't know what that one is, though. Someone might be able to tell in the chat. Um, I'm not sure. They're, they've, they've changed these a couple of times in the history, and they added a lot somewhat recently, so I don't, I'm don't. i not familiar with all of them yet. But anyway, we didn't get a chest, and that's what I was looking for, was a chest out here. So let's do the Blightstorm cycle and watch the little animation that'll happen, and then we'll see our newly spawned world map. Oh, we also got to look at this screen, too. Uh, we gathered 253 food stockpiles this uh, cycle. We spent 246, so we have we had seven left. We had one left over from, I, I'm going to call it a bug in the skipping of the um, of, of the uh, uh, tutorials. We earned 19 machinery, spent three. We earned 18 artifacts, spent three. We unlocked a crap ton of content here at the uh, in the upgrades tree, and we made it all the way to level seven in the first cycle. Now, of course, levels get harder as you go, so we're going to gain less levels in future cycles. But now the animation. See all of our little towns there, and there's the storm, and then the towns are gone. Now, we have uh, lots of modifier tiles we can get to here. Ruined Settlement. Ah, this is Barren Lands. That's what that one means. Uh, that means that you have 
Uh, the soil is too acidic. There's no fertile soil anywhere in this region. Over here is the other one I think we saw, Watchtower. The Royal Guard is watching over this region. Discovering glades doesn't increase hostility. We have another barren lands here as well. Um, we have over here Royal Outpost. The proximity of a Royal Outpost makes it easier to communicate with the Crown. The pool of order choices will increase by one. That's useful. And then we have one right there that we can't quite see. And then that ruined settlement right there. So, for the next town, I want to do a coral forest because we haven't done a coral forest yet. We happen to have this coral forest all in here next to this nice little watchtower uh, um, modifier that we can hit this specific tile of. Um, I do want to get to a Curse of Royal Woodlands also, so maybe that'll be the town after that. But um, I do want to get to the Coral Forest because that's the fourth major biome, and we haven't seen that in this series yet, with the Cursed Forest being, or Curse of Royal Woodlands rather, being kind of the fifth biome, but it's kind of, in some ways it's, it's the same as the Royal Woodlands, but in some ways it's a lot different. So I definitely want to do that too, don't, don't get me wrong. But I want to do the fourth like major biome first. Um, which is the coral forest. So next time we'll do a coral for a starter coral forest town here We'll get this watchtower modifier, which means that we can discover glades like mad people Anytime unless we get a uh, forest mystery that tells us you can't do it during a season But other than that we'll do it. We'll go we'll go gangbusters on that and we'll see how we can do in that town um, See how many of those glades we can open up All right, so thank you all for joining me and I will see you all in the next one Bye for now